commercial photographer Tony Roseland in the studio today to talk to you about a process that we call focus stacking to increase our depth of field exponentially. Stick around right after the break. If you're a product photographer or a nature photographer and you're struggling with depth of field, trying to maximize your depth of field, and you found that stopping down to f16, f22, whatever, are starting to compromise depth of field for sharpness, then this technique is for you. I use this a lot. If you saw my previous video on catalog jewelry photography, I introduced the technique there using a macro focusing rail. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend you jump back and check it out so you have an idea of the foundation that I'm talking about here. In short, focus stacking is where we focus on the near portion of a subject, then we focus a little further through a subject, focus a little further through the subject, and then we keep doing that until we focus all the way through the subject with multiple shots. We take all of those shots, we put them together in post-processing, and we create one really sharp image with a maximum depth of field. What's the purpose of that? Well, we can shoot at a wider aperture. We can shoot at that sweet spot of our lens, you know, somewhere around f8, f11, f5.6, depending on the lens that you have, so that we don't get that diffraction and we're getting that really, really sharp, tack sharp image out of our, out of our lens. So um, that's where this unit comes in. And this is the stack shot. It's by Cognosis, and this thing is amazing. If you do this type of photography, then you're gonna love this. Um, this automates the process for you. It's basically uh, two parts. You have a focusing rail, which has a sled on it, and I've attached my medium format camera to that sled, but you can use any camera. You can use a Canon or an Nikon or whatever brand that you happen to have, and then a controller unit. Now there's a bunch of cords hanging off, don't get intimidated by that. One is simply a power cord, and if you are a nature photographer, you work in the field a lot, you can certainly get a battery pack for this so that you don't have to use the AC power. The other cord just connects the controller unit to the sled. Um, it's got an extension cable, which I have in here now, which just gives me a little bit more latitude on movement. And then the final one, it connects the controller unit to the camera. Now, why would we wanna do that? Well, the cool thing about this is it actually will fire the camera for us, so we don't have to touch the camera at all. And the way that this works is you pick your starting point, you pick your stopping point, and then you tell it how many shots you wanna take between that starting point and stopping point, and it will uh, equally divide that incrementally and take those shots. Let's see if it works. There's the first shot. It's gonna move, it's gonna pause two seconds, it's gonna shoot again, and it's gonna do that for 10, uh, 10 uh, increments, and then it's gonna back up and it's gonna reset to the beginning so that I could switch out products, shoot another product, or if I wanted to light this particular product um, in different ways and then combine those in post somehow, uh, I can do that. The repeatability here is key. It can do the same thing over and over and over again. That's it, I love this thing. It works really good. I've spoken to the guys over at Cognosys a couple times uh, before I bought the product, and it's they're super nice. They're really, really helpful. If you have any questions, those guys are the ones to talk to. They can help you out. If you have simple questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you wanna know more about focus stacking and helicon focus, Check out my tutorial over at rggedu.com on product photography where I walk you through an entire shot doing focus stacking. I do it with the manual focus rail and I walk you through how to use helicon focus to get that focus stack. Again, rggedu.com for that tutorial. And that's about it. I'm out, people. Um, until next time, thanks a lot.